The water here is very murky, so presumably you're not sight spotting fish, you're looking for things in the water. What the boys will do is stand in a traditional spot, cowering, that is standing with a net in front of them. But they're looking. If you look at the lave net fisherman, generally he'll be looking behind him because he's looking for the, the wake or the loom of the fish, yeah. a bulge of the water, a knife blade going through the water. And that salmon will be swimming out of the deep water, past the net, into the shallows behind. And the fisherman, if he spots the, the loom, he'll pick the net up and he'll dash after the fish. Time to gingerly feel our way out past Richard and get some cowering in. Oh! Little mullet in the net there. So there are fish out there. This is getting more exciting by the minute. Into the full force of the tide, and my mind is already racing with images of mighty silver sea run salmon. Martin, seeing you use it in the water, it makes a lot more sense to me now. It's, it's a seat, it's a steadier, it's a staff, it's a, to help you get across. It's a Yeah, you've seen us walking out to the fishing, uh, using the handle of the net as a rock staff, yeah. a walking stick. Um, yeah, I've got the reams on the bed of the river. You're quite sturdy in the water now, leaning back against it. Yeah, I, I'm sturdy in myself. My hip is on top of the headboard, and the net is in the water with the force of the water running through. Mm -hmm. uh, the mesh is under tension. Uh, so that's your bite indicator, feeling this. You'll know yeah. anything that's gone in there. It's like holding a fishing line. Um, the whole net is like a spider's web. Anything touches this mesh, I can feel it through my fingers. Yeah. Martin, as, as a fisherman, I want fish stories. Tell me uh, what I want to hear about some whoppers. Ah, uh, well, I mean, the story, I suppose, is um, the story of my great-grandfather catching the, the biggest salmon ever caught in the Black Rock Leave Net Fishery. And he caught that in 1950, and he caught it on his 77th birthday. How big was it? The weight, 56 pounds. That's a huge fish. Yeah, I that's mean... An, that's, a, that's a seriously big fish. Yeah. The fish swam into his net at 77 years of age. He couldn't raise the net, the lave net, on his own. So luckily, he had fishermen either side of him. They caught all of the reams of the net and managed to up the net, get the rock staff down and drag the... Success on the other side. And um, that has just been caught by Richard, who's the only person who hasn't caught one this year. It's the last day, and that's about the best thing that could have happened. Hey! Not a bad fish, five or six of them. Congratulations, Richard. No wooden spoon for you. It's been a long time coming. Last day of the season, I was starting to pan it. Lovely silver fish. Look at that. Look at that beauty. You don't get no fresher than that. Now, you can see how fresh this fish is. It's got sea lice still on it. These drop off very shortly after they come into fresh water. So to have these still in, this has just come in from the sea built like a torpedo. I, I knew there was something there, I could see it swimming, and I seen him splash, and I drove my net at him. And here he is. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, but uh, lovely fish. And of course, tradition that is, that there's five of us fishing today, cut up five pieces, and we all have a share. Sure. You know, they have, they set themselves a limit of 15 fish a year, so to come here and catch one is absolute magic, fantastic.